Kristen DeChambeau is with us at the 106 PGA Championship. We're going to jump right into questions, starting right here on Mike 8. Bryson, what was that moment like on 18? Exhilarating. I haven't felt like that in a long time. And uh, the only other time I felt like it was when I shot 58 at Greenbrier. Um, that, was, that was pretty exciting there. I was pretty pumped. And how do you feel about where you stand in the tournament right now? Uh, I've got a good chance. You know, I'm not executing to the level that I know I can, but playing well enough to give myself a chance, obviously, and got to keep strategizing around this golf course and putting the golf ball in the right areas and miss it in the right place and uh, hit a bunch of greens out here. It's, it's iron play. The key is iron play this week and haven't done my best, but got up and down nicely. And man, I made a couple clutch shots when I needed to. Mike Seven. Where do, compared to 2020, where does the game feel like it is right now? Man, it's, it's probably around the same, if not a little bit better. I've got some nice equipment that has helped me tremendously. And as I look forward to, I would say, just tomorrow and, and the future, it, it just seems so much more positive than where I was. Um, I felt stuck back in, back in that time frame. And i um, just excited with the opportunity to, to make some equipment and do some unique, fun stuff that I know could be very helpful for a lot of people, and not just myself, but uh, excited to see what we can do moving forward. First notice is at the Masters, but it's continued into this week. Like, your fans are really, really behind you. Are you feeling a difference in how it was a couple of years ago? Uh, yeah. I mean, I've worked really hard to have people help hopefully understand who I am a little bit better, and uh, YouTube's been a great platform to help that out, and um, the Break 50 series are a lot of fun. I actually enjoy, I love doing it. It's a lot of fun. It's a challenge that's never been done nor accomplished uh, without any strokes. Um, and so it just keeps, keeps my brain fresh and, and in an entertainment mode and realizing what the game's all about, not just for myself and you know, winning money or uh, winning trophies, but entertaining as well. Obviously, we all want to win trophies. But being able to entertain the fans is what we're all here to do, and I think that's what's the most important thing. Up to Rex on 20. Bryson, at the Masters, we talked a lot about your irons, the bulge and roll <coughs> irons. Are, yeah. you, are you still using them, and are you yeah. more comfortable now with them than we were then? Yeah, no, I, I, tr I trust them. Uh, I know what they're going to do, but unfortunately, it's been user error today, uh, today in the past few days. Still struck it somewhat well, and um, driver's been doing well. Five was been doing all right. Uh, three wood we really haven't figured out yet, but we're getting there, and uh, it's a slow but steady grind to improving my, my equipment each and every week and, each, oh, well, now each and every year, and I'm looking forward to the future on that stuff. Uh, there's a lot, lot to come about on that front. And you talk about feeling more comfortable with the equipment. What do you feel is the next step? Um, well, <clears throat> you know, the speeds at, I guess, my level or Jake Knapps or a few other bombers out there have really not been tested. If we're all being honest, if everybody's being honest, it's not really truly been tested on a robot, nor can it be. Um, and then FEA models only go so far, so it's kind of a, a journey. FEA is finite element analysis, and, and, or finite element modeling. Element analysis modeling, sorry. And it's, um, it's, it's only as good as the inputs you give it, and it's just a model in the, in the computer. And um, there's not enough information known right now, but I'm willing to go down that path and figure it out. We'll wrap it up on Mike 16. So, Bryson, you talked yesterday about <clears throat> you were a little disappointed that you didn't go bogey-free. Uh, you had the one at six today, but you must have been feeling pretty good coming out of that with just a bogey. I was very happy to come out of it with a bogey. Um, <laughs> when I saw that lie on the second shot, I'm like, dang, I got to I gotta get lucky here to make par. And that was my whole goal is just if I, if I could stay bogey-free and make, make a few birdies and take care of the par fives. Yeah, you're going to give yourself a good chance out here, and um, I just got to do more of that tomorrow. Thanks for your time, Bryson. Yeah, thank you.